Hello, I made a video a while ago on adding a table of contents in a Jupyter Notebook. I think I made it close to three years ago. So I wanted to just go through that now um, because things change and show you how to use a table of contents in a Jupyter Notebook now. So I'll link to this article, but this article is from 2022 from Analytics um, video. But they kind of go through, so the table of contents in a Jupyter Notebook, um, you have to use the um, um, notebook extensions. So I'm going to show you. So first you will need to install, run these two commands. Um, I'm on a MacBook, so I'm going to use a terminal. Oops. Um, let me stop making it a big screen for a second. Um, All right, just run it. And then we'll do the same thing for this. Well, it looks like I need to open a new Jupyter notebook uh, after I run this. And then let's run this command. And then let's fire up a Jupyter notebook. And we see we have this new tab up here called MB extensions. So I had a, one that I was previously running does not have this. Close these two. Um, oops, shoot. Um, no, I'm using this. Um, so. I have this NB extensions um, and um, the one that I've used in the past, disable can be um, yeah, let's do this table of contents too. This is the one that I have previously used. Um, well, you can click, um, or yeah, it gives you some information about it once you click on these. Um, oh, so it is enabled. Um, and it gives you some different options on what you want to do. Um, but main thing here is I want to show you how this works. Um, Let's just make a new Jupyter notebook right here. And so for this table of contents, it's dependent on the um, markdown. And we'll see we have this thing right here that pops up. So if I do um, linear regression exploration. And if we take a look, now we have, we should have something. Um, and let's say we import, and then we're going to, in this cell, would be step one, import packages. And this is not showing up for some reason. Oops. Um, yeah, there it is. Um, and import pandas as pd. Import matplotlib. Uh, pyplot as plt. And then it's also kind of nice is it shows you what's running in my notebook. Um, so let's do another one. Step two, um, load and data. And say data equal pd dot data frame. And so I have my data frame, and then let's say I have step three. Make 
scatter plots. I called it with my data. Data sets. I called it data and not VF. Oh, um, you know, I think it's got scattered. So my app made, made my visualization. So um, and what's kind of nice is if I want to jump to a section, I can do that really quick. Um, if I want to make a new, a whole new section, it's all based off of these, um, these tags right here. So linear regression model. So now we have this new section. Um, so it, I don't know, it can be, can be useful, especially as your Jupyter notebooks get large, but, um, yeah, this is for, um, using a table of contents in a Jupyter notebook. Thank you.